nothing more miserable than living somewhere and not liking it, right? Yes, yes. Well, a recent <laughs> satisfaction survey is shining quite the positive light on Durham City and County with the majority of the folks who participated saying that Durham is a good place to live. Yeah, CBS 17's Ben Boken joins us live from downtown Durham where he spoke with people about this. Ben. Yeah, guys, that, that survey was recently released by the city of Durham, and the results show over 80% of those who live in Durham County are satisfied, while over 75% say the area is a good or excellent place to work. I talked with people around downtown Durham today about how they feel about living here. I think Durham gets a bad rap, but I think, uh, you know, what place doesn't, but you know, I think with what's going on and what's happening and the changes in Durham, I think it's good for us. Regina Long has lived in the city of Durham for over 25 years. Her favorite part is the downtown area. It's a big improvement. It's a different change. It's looking better. We want something similar to Raleigh, and I think we're gradually getting that. Drew Knapp is also satisfied with living in the county. He's been there almost two years. All the offerings around here, including like places to go, places to go out, uh, different things to do, ease, ease of uh, availability get places. The newly released 2022 resident satisfaction survey shows 82% feel Durham is an excellent or good place to live, while 78% feel Durham is an excellent or good place to work. But one of the services respondents said the city and county should focus on the most over the next two years is quality of police protection. City manager Wanda Page says a possible solution is alleviating staffing issues. We need officers. We need um to recruit uh, officers to that profession as well as retain them um, primarily so that we can respond to our residents when they need us most. Over 670 households were represented in this survey, which Page says has a 95% level of confidence. Another concern the survey revealed was maintenance of city streets. Page says there's a plan to invest additional funds. To make them smooth and, um, and drivable, walkable, bikeable uh, for all the residents in our community. On top of street maintenance and police protection, some of the respondents said one of the top priorities that city and local leaders should focus on over the next two years is public schooling. We're live here in Durham. Ben Boken, CBS 17 News.